And we are live with our second ever episode of the new season of the Mindset Move Show. We have a very special episode for you today with multiple guests, all of which are co-authors in our anthology, Powerful Synergy, that has all proceeds going to the Global Sisterhood, which right now is getting rations, is working on getting rations directly down to the families that are affected by hurricanes. No middleman, they have feet in the street doing it. It's amazing. And I'm just so proud that we are all a part of this. What we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to tell you the top secrets, either the biggest blunders we've never told anyone before that turn out to be the biggest lessons that propelled us forward, or our top tips that we always keep in our back pocket and we pull them out and we tell anybody that we know because it's just been such fireworks for us to, to get us going in our business as moms. And for those of you who don't know what Powerful Synergy is about, I'm just going to be bringing on each one of our guests one by one and sharing a little tidbit about each of their chapters. And they're going to then tell you their biggest secret that they have to share with you. So listen up because some of these have never been heard before. And at the end, stay tuned because Corey Wamsley, our publisher from Aurora Corealis Publishing, is going to tell us where we're at with everything with the book and how you can get your copy, which we will always put the link to. So it's easy for you to get in the captions, show notes, wherever you're watching or listening. And by the way, if you're an avid watcher or listener, please leave us a five-star review, subscribe, like, just get help us get the word out there so we can get as much money out to the global sisterhood who's helping hurricane uh, victims right now. Okay, I'm gonna start with my, my girl, Pris uh, Erica. I see you, Erica's first up. And Erica is going to tell us, so Erica's chapter, I actually didn't know this much about her, but she worked in the corporate world. I did know that, but she tells this story that was really captivating to me because I think a lot of moms can resonate with it. Of the moment when she was supposed to be off, she was supposed to have boundaries and be with her family, but they just dropped a deadline on her lap and she's scrambling to find a solution of who's going to help her support that her family in that very second. And she knew she needed more. So Erica, that's all I'm going to share because I want them to read the whole chapter. But what's your secret to your success? Yeah, I think a lot of it comes down to belief, um, which might sound a little woo-woo, but it it is. I, I can just remember in the very beginning before I really quit just knowing deep in my soul that this was going to be my path forward. I was leaving probably 90K job with 401K and all of these things at the time. And I just like knew it was going to be okay. Um, and I remember some early months of entrepreneurship and, you know, I would do really good the month before and the next month would be terrible. And I'm like, what is happening? Like start all this doubt would creep in. And I had a coach at the time who was just like, you know, your belief is dropping. And so I go in these waves as with entrepreneurship, there's great months, there's crappy months, there's things that happen. It is a little bit of a roller coaster. But when I start to feel that doubt and the insecurities creep back in, I just do like a belief download of all the reasons why I believe I'm a great professional organizer, a great mom, a great wife. Um, and sometimes in those dark moments, that's really hard to do. Um, but it's just having that mindset shift and being able to kind of pull that out and, um, you know, kind of bolster your belief in yourself again, because if that's not there, no one else is going to do it for you. That's so true. And you hit the nail on the head of the epitome of success is not to always be flush in cash. It's that it's that knowing and the trust in the divine truth. I have Samantha here up next, and she's another amazing female entrepreneur mom who uh, comes from the corporate world, corner office, nice six-figure salary, uh, support of you know your family to do it. And she wanted to show her kids what you know moms can do. Like we can be badasses in the corporate world. But it, then all of a sudden, she couldn't really explain it. She had a voice inside of her that it really wasn't in alignment for what she wanted anymore. She kept waiting for a sign from God. And I, I like that was for me like it. Like when we keep waiting for that sign from God, little do we realize that voice that wants in our heart, that's the sign from God. So I want you to share what your secret has been from that journey. You're five years into that entrepreneurial journey right now. 
Yeah, I love that you say that because I think so many times we do have those tugs and we don't realize like people will ask me like you say God spoke to you like he didn't actually like come sit at my table and speak to me but like when you feel something in your heart that you want to do that is generally God saying like this is what we're going to do um but you got to take the action on it. Um so my my truth and my um my tip I think is that we all have kind of like a different it's going to look different for everybody. And you have to become comfortable with knowing that like your truth, your journey is yours specifically, and not everybody is going to understand it. So sometimes people are going to tell you, like when I went to homeschool, my kids in my first year in business, people were like, how are you going to do that? You're going to have to do choose one or the other. You can't do both. And I had to remember that my truth is that I can do it. Um, and even sometimes like our own truth of ourself, um, can creep in and not be right. So like sometimes we feel unqualified or that we can't do it. Um, but that, so for me, my, my tip and what's worked for me, and I know this doesn't work for everybody, um, depending on what your faith stance is, but for me is just to always remember what God says about me because what the world says about me. And even sometimes what I say about myself can't be trusted, but God says I'm qualified, that I'm equipped um, that I'm called and that I have a purpose. And if I'm feeling that in my heart, like I need to walk into that. Um, and so that's where anytime, even from before I started my business to when I was starting my business to now five years in when I'm making decisions and I start feeling those ways, I have to remind myself like, hey, Sam, like you're not made for this world. God created you. What does he say about you? And so that reminder for me is really what um, gives me the confidence to keep going on days when I don't feel it. Um, Cause we also can't trust our feelings all the time. <laughs> so yeah, it's tricky, yeah. um, but it's, it's worth it. That's beautiful, Sam. And I've definitely had those moments where I'm like, God, like what, what are you doing here? And I <laughs> I've had those moments of clarity where he's in my heart and I just feel it. And it's like, my daughter, don't you know, this is the life I've gifted you. You were made for this. Like I have yeah. plans for you. You know, it's yeah. so, so beautiful. Tara, what about you? I was just rereading Kara's chapter recently and I was uh, just, I'm still always blown away at women who are in the military and, you know, 13 years uh, in the Air Force supporting some very sensitive individuals, sensitive on the inside, on the outside, it's hard getting in uh, with mental health because they've, they've seen some things, they've been through some stuff and I shared a similar birth story to yours in my chapter. What, what's your secret? One of the things that really changed my life was learning about the power of visioning or dreaming or really setting goals for yourself and thinking about it in the future tense as if it's already happening. So I'll give you an example would be, I am so happy and grateful now that I am a best-selling author. And even though I hadn't at that point achieved it yet, I came from the feeling tone as if it was already happening. And what's really neat about it is that your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the present and the future when you speak about the future as if it's already happening. So honestly, that has really changed my life. And I look back even just over the past year and a half and the different things that I've achieved just because I visioned it. And when things don't happen, and I take a look at my vision, it's usually because it's not in there. Um, and then also we have a tendency to talk about things that we don't have. For example, um, you know, I want to be out in debt while well, you're continuing to talk from a scarcity mindset rather than like, I just generated $250,000 in income. All my bills are paid in full at the end of the month. So learning to talk that different way and then finally taking an action step. What's one small thing I could do today to move me in the direction of my dreams? I love that. That's excellent, Kara. I see Emma next. Emma's story gets me every time because you are really vulnerable in your chapter and sharing a really difficult moment, but you're just continue to amaze those around you of the way things you turn things around in, in your life. What would you say is is your secret? I feel like there's different pivotal pieces to my story and the one from where you're speaking about where I was rebuilding my life and I feel where we all have low points or a story of that pivotal moment. So 
for me, whenever things are really hard or I'm getting down about business or motherhood or um, life itself, I always remind myself, okay, what's one thing I can do better? What's 1% that I can do to get better? What's one area that I can get back in control of? And then it'll start to snowball and compact upon itself and realizing if there's somewhere I want to be or some place I want to be getting around those, like these women here who have shared in the struggle of motherhood or business and being around business or any like-minded women to help pull me into that mentality and borrowing other people's belief in myself if I'm struggling to believe in myself mm. at that point. That's awesome. I love that. Priscilla, you had reached out when we were promoting the book and you're like, well, I think a lot of moms in the book are at the, like more of the beginning stages of their motherhood and they've got little, little kids. Do you think that my story can, can fit in or be a part of this when my kids are grown, some are in college, some are in high school. Um, and I just, when I, when I read it, I, I was like, absolutely. And in your chapter too, you just really come um, uh, you, you have like the whole story that some of us have even walked, have not even walked yet. And I know that you're tremendous help to so many female entrepreneurs with your services. What's your secret? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I was very unsure of whether or not, um, my story would have relevance with this. Um, but I think one of my top tips or secrets is actually just to go with the flow. I know that's really hard, right? Like we're in business and we're like, okay, I know I need to do A, B, and C. These are my next steps. I need to do marketing. I need to do this. I need to do that. And sometimes things don't go how we want them to go or how we envision that they will go. And I think um, for me, I put um, a lot of emphasis in allowing things to kind of unfold how they're supposed to unfold. We try, we tend to try to control the situation a lot of times. And um, sometimes that can then lead to us being disappointed in ourselves or the way that things are going. And I think that sometimes if you just allow things to unfold and kind of have that ease of flow within your business, you'll see that things will end up exactly how they are supposed to. I love that. It's such a beautiful reminder every day. Yeah. Uh, Melissa, I've got you up next and your chapter. Um, there was a defining moment in it that I remember where you say, you know, I leave the marks on the wall from the violence that happened in my home, just as a reminder of how far I've come. Um, what would you say is your secret to success in business as a mom? Um, I, I think my, um, I just don't take everything so serious. I tried to, uh, I, I just tried to realize like everything's going to be okay. Um, I went to a Christian school and was raised in a Christian family. So I have my belief that I always fell back on and I knew no matter how bad things were, somebody had me. And I, um, I just, I, I do, I, I leave, I've repainted, re, re, you know, redid things in the house, sage the house, the whole nine yards, but I leave certain marks around because it grounds me to realize that, that I'm here for a reason. This happened for a reason. And this is what I want my kids to see me moving forward and taking all of those things that happen. Um, and realizing that there's something good that came out of it, even though we have a lot of trauma, um, you know, around that and our hearts are still healing from a lot of it too. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. I know, you know, multiple of you have a vulnerable share in this book and I'm glad that you're here to share the story because it goes differently for a lot of women, unfortunately. We actually have uh, our co-author Ashley watching. I think she's still currently in Italy, but Ashley, if you're still watching, just drop us a line. And for those of you listening uh, and watching on a platform where you can comment, whether live or on a replay, tell us where you're watching from, what business you are running, and uh, how many kiddos you have. We'd love to hear from you. Christine, Christine, I um, I think like you, you're just so brave to talk about in the moment that you were uh, leading a drill, a shooter drill in school. And that's 
I commend you for sharing that because I myself have kids in school now. I, I have homeschooled my children. Now they're back in school. They each have their own. There's like 20 different schools that they go to for their individual needs. But some of the schools are doing this because they have to, because they're getting regular threats. And I'm always like, God, I like, I'm trusting in you because these happen. Right. And so I'm just, I just think you're so brave for sharing that moment because it's totally from a place of love and non-judgmental for us moms who have kids in schools who go through these drills, but you had the freedom and the knowledge to make a different choice for you. And I'd love for you to share your secret to success that sprung from that story forward. Yes, definitely mentors, community. Those are definitely huge for me. Um, my mentor, was, she said, you can teach outside the four walls and you can be the mom that you want to be with your kids. And to me at that moment as a teacher, you don't think you have other options. And it gave me that freedom to say, yeah, I do have another option. There are so many directions that we can go but sometimes our mindset is so limited based on what we've been told, you know, for so long. And it's like, no, there are so many options and you got to go for it. You have to stay positive because there's going to be hard moments. There's going to be tough times. You know, you have to surround yourself with like-minded women like this group here of amazing powerhouse women and the community to lift you up on those hard days and what you're doing it for. What is your why? because my kids are watching every single day and yeah. just being able to be that inspiration for them and to hear them say, mom, I want to start a business right now. I want to do this. And I said, I love that. I love to be able to give them that inspiration and know that there's no limits. They can do whatever, you know, the sky's the limit for them. Yeah. And or I know you help so many families to learn and that's what this book is all about to do parenthood your way to do your business your way there's not we're not saying our way is the right way we're saying do it your way no matter what anybody else thinks uh, yeah absolutely um tanya from london is here and um i read her chapter and i learned so much about you because you i feel like you're like the jack of all trades and have done it all tried it all but you always had this mission on your heart that you are so gifted for and you're so meant for i'd love for you to tell us what your secret is thanks marta so i would say to anyone that is listening right now that is in a business thinking about starting a business thinking about ending a business that it is never linear <laughs> everyone will agree with me on this podcast that you're going to pivot it's not going to look the way you think it's going to look from the beginning um, just be open, trust yourself, and know that good things take time. You know, in my chapter, I talk about the many different avenues that I took. Some of them were out of desperation. Some of them were through choice. And some of them evolved into things that I never really expected. And just trust that you are on the right path. There's never a mistake. If you make a decision, guess what? You can make another decision. And, you know, don't be afraid to try something new. If what you're doing isn't exactly right and you're not quite sure why tweak it you know make those changes and just trust your instinct that you're on the right path you will learn something from everything that you do and ultimately it will get you where you need to be in the end and I have to chuckle because Priscilla's like am I going to be like any use in this book my children are 30 and 26 right. so I think that you're fine <laughs> and a couple of our other authors too, yeah in yeah in that stage of life yeah absolutely and I think you hit the nail on the head. And I just to add to that, there's also parts of your business that are going to feel so right at any moment. Don't be afraid to let them go. Let them flow through you when they're no longer in alignment. And that doesn't mean that that portion failed. That portion is complete. It was yes. meant for you in that moment. And that goes the same for people, right? Trauma expert, Tanya. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it goes for and it's time to let them go. Let them go. They inhibit your growth. Yep. Right. Absolutely. And Corey. You, the woman who brought us all together, I would love for you to share more about where we are with this book that we're promoting. And yeah. Um, where so, we can get it, all that good stuff. Sure. Um, so right now we are actually a top new release for the paperback in the parent and girls category. So congratulations to all the authors and thank you to everybody who's been buying the book. Um, 
you know, you guys are making a big difference here, not only to the authors, but also to uh, the Global Sisterhood Charity because they do benefit from sales from this book. Um, right now, the ebook, I'm like scrolling on my phone, checking checking our categories here. Uh, the ebook is ranked, ooh, we jumped. Um, we jumped since the beginning of this call. So right now the ebook is at number 29 in motherhood. That jumped significantly <laughs> at like yeah. from the beginning of this call. That's amazing. Yeah, that's why that's like I gotta fair. watch this all day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, number 29 in motherhood, 43 in midlife management, 95 in spiritual self-help. So we are getting really close to number one. Um, yeah. So if you guys haven't downloaded the ebook yet, make sure you do. Um, that gets us to number one. It helps us not only celebrate being best-selling authors, but it benefits the global sisterhood. And it also helps other people on Amazon find our book because when there's a lot of action on a book, when there's people you know buying the book, um, leaving reviews, which also helps us, um, we always appreciate those reviews. Uh, so anything that's going on with the book that helps more people see the book because Amazon goes, oh, this is important to people. We want to share it. And as you guys have heard, like all these stories are very important and they'll make a difference to moms out there. Yeah. And if you've already downloaded your ebook, you can still help. You can buy 10 paperbacks each <laughs> to help us really reach number one. And we want to help as many women be inspired to do life their way, to do motherhood their way, to do entrepreneurship their way, to let them know that they can do it all in their own way, without pushing, without hustling, but with grace and rest and peace and God's divine guidance. Um, and I know some of my family members have bought multiple copies to gift to people. There's the holidays coming up, you know, birthdays. And also then if you've already done that, if you, all of us are sharing about the book today, and so help us by sharing our posts with your audience and say, hey, I got my book. Yeah, I've already had to like somebody wanted the book so quickly for someone's birthday. I had to give away my own copy <laughs> that Corey had gotten me for interviews because she needed to have it right away. Wow. Um, so uh, people are loving the book. We're getting amazing feedback. We're going to be sharing some Amazon reviews. So if you've done all those things, get on our Amazon listing. Give us a five star review. Five star five stars um, <laughs> because that's what just is going to tell Amazon, Hey, people love this. That's what's going to tell people when they're looking for a book, people actually love this. This is a real deal. So thanks for everybody for being here. Thanks everybody for watching and listening. And again, um, if you are an avid audience member of the show, please be sure to leave five star reviews on whatever platform you're listening on subscribe on YouTube, uh, just engage with the content. We want to get the show out there. The show is produced by Media the Creative Agency, which is my marketing agency for holistic wellness and beauty practitioners that are disruptors in the world, getting the truth out there about what it really means to live your best life as your healthy, amazing self. Bye, everyone. The link to the book will be in the descriptions, the show notes, wherever you're watching or listening to this. So don't worry, we got your back and we can't wait to hear your feedback on the book.